Hey guys, one of the greatest blessings that I've received over the last 27 years for sure is all the celebrities I've had a chance to interview and the tips they've given me on living life to the fullest. Through my national radio show, I've been introduced to these people over and over and over again. And then as our books became number one bestsellers, we started having celebrities reaching out to us. It's been incredible. What a great, great, great ride. So I want to just give you a few of the celebrities I've worked with and some of the tips they've given me that I can share with you to help you to become more successful in life. Right off the top, Jenny McCarthy. Oh my gosh, a celebrity radio TV host. She's just such an amazingly wonderful person. And when I interviewed her, or let me take that back, when she interviewed me the first time, we were talking about how so many people bought into this myth of positive thinking that whatever you think about, you bring about. And if you can imagine it, the universe must conspire to bring it to your door and all this other kind of stuff, which is actually not true unless it's a miracle. But she was saying, oh my God, David, I never thought about how ridiculous some of this stuff that I even talk about. So then I turned the table. I said, hey, I know that you're interviewing me, but give me like one of the greatest tips of success for you that has nothing to do with positive thinking, but doing action. She said, you know, after I made it big in the early 90s with my uh, modeling days, I went into doing this work and, and people would call me all the time and say, hey, come over and audition for this or we want you to come here and audition for that. And she said, David, I would look at my schedule and go, nah, I don't think so. I'm busy. I don't feel like traveling. And then all of a sudden, some of the success started to dry up. And I was trying to figure out why. And the answer was me. I didn't do any, want to do anything that was uncomfortable or that pushed me out of my schedule. And she said, David, as soon as I started getting uncomfortable in life, success came barreling down my doorway. Think about that in your life, right? What about Jenna Elfman? One of the first times I talked to her, she said to me, you know, I wish more people would know the big difference they could have with all the stray animals in the USA. And I said, you know, I think a lot of people just figure, well, what's this one dog? If I help this one cat or this one dog. And she said, David, I used to think that way. And now at 2 a.m. in the morning, if I'm coming home from an audition or a taping, a segment, and I see a dog, people know I'm going to pull over and pick it up. Every little bit counts. Jenna Elfman's a class act. What about Wayne Dyer? The late Wayne Dyer, I remember the very first time I interviewed him and he said to me, what can I do to help your career? I really love your passion and your energy. What can I do to help you? Now this was in 1990, Wayne was already a big name and I almost lost it. I couldn't believe a celebrity was saying, how can I help you? The tip I got from him, those starting out that need some guidance, just go ahead and give it to them. Wayne did amazing things for my career. But what about Deepak Chopra? I'll never forget the first time I interviewed him when I asked him what he thought was one of the massive keys to success. He said, whatever you desire, give. Give more and then give more again. And when I asked him to be specific, he said, David, if someone's looking for deep love, go and love people with all of your heart without the expectation of return. Just go practice loving. With money, if you're struggling with money, give your money away. If it's a quarter, if it's a nickel, if it's a penny, if it's a dollar. The more you give, the more you'll receive. I just love that. Or how about Kenny Loggins, the musician? When I asked him about his book, The Unimaginable Life, and what he had learned the most about the world of love, he said how I had not been honest in my previous relationships, David, and how the keystone to intimacy is being 100% honest, even if your partner may not want to hear the truth. You know, these people have all touched my lives and changed my lives in the most amazing way ever. And I share their messages for you because I hope that somewhere in this short video, you'll pick up something and go, yes, that's what I need to do right now. Or what about my last story? One of my favorite guys in the world, Keith Mitchell, former NFL All-Pro linebacker, paralyzed, told he would never move, never walk again. Today, He's one of the most unbelievable yoga and meditation instructors in the world. He's doing great stuff. He has a heart of gold. When I asked him what, what allowed him to go from paralysis to this yoga guru now, and he said, do the unexpected. Do what you don't think will work. When someone gives you advice and you say, that's not for me, do it. David, that's how I got out of that hospital bed Slowly but surely my recovery came because I was doing things that other people recommended that I didn't think was for me. That's a big lesson right there, right? Remember this, 80% of your success will come from what you do. 
20% from the way you think. And what's really important about the 80% is that most of us will achieve greatness in life when we get comfortable doing what we'd rather not do on a daily basis with our money, our weight, addiction recovery, love, career, whatever you don't want to do is probably a gateway to success. If I can help you at all, visit us at talkdavid.com. You can read chapter one of our number one best-selling book on positive thinking absolutely free right at the website, talkdavid.com. And you'll see some of the stories I've just mentioned here in greater detail. I want you to be successful. If I can help you at all as a counselor, a life coach, a number one best-selling author, and more, send me an email at talkdavid.com. I promise we'll get right back to you, helping you on your pathway to success. Have a beautiful day.